Ah, you there. Leto is in one of her moods again. When I asked if I could help, she just snorted and said to find her someone outside. Hey, if you're not busy. I'm not sure who to talk to about this. I don't know how... Ah, maybe I shouldn't say anything. It's okay. You can tell me, Jin. Okay, thanks. It's Danny. She normally goes out with the others on their usual routes. But lately, she's been going off the beaten path. The others say she last went southeast all the way into the crater. And when she's back, she won't even look at me. Deflects whenever I ask her questions. Never a good time to talk. She's mad at you? Ha, <laughs> no. Yeah, I wish it were that simple. But I know her. No, this is something else. I, um... I think this is my fault. A while ago, I brought up a topic that, in all fairness, I knew she didn't like. I figured the timing was okay and that she... Uh, you know what? It's... <laughs> it's not important. I can check up on her if you'd like. Listen. Danny's the toughest person I know. But this place is dangerous, as you know. I don't need to know where she's going or what she's doing. I just need to know she's okay. You think the Samson has killed I know I'll go. I could show them. Alma? We never saw you like this. I don't leave the link bed much these days. I've grown so used to being one of you. <laughs> you look different. Uh, but <laughs> the, the same. I'm the same. But you are changing. Growing. Every time we meet, you look more Nafi. We heard from the Aranahe. I never thought they would change their minds. And now, we are stronger than we ever were. You can empty a clip into one of those things. That and came from outside. Off. Maybe the Aranahe will come here now. Is this how you greet the Saren to after all this time? I had to see for myself. <laughs> Not even a flinch this one. Fearless like a Zeswa. Or perhaps just slow. That depends on if I was the target. My name is Nassim, Oloiktan of the Zeswa. And no warrior in Pandora can best our spears. <laughs> then you have not seen us fight. I heard you got those pompous weavers out of their tree. But the Sky People ravage our lands too. We know them all too well. I should get Alma. Speak your own mind, Ritnella. We have the same enemy. We must fight together. So our envoy will come to you, just as our people once did. My sister Minang hunts beneath the celebration arches, warrior. Fly the signal kite like our riders do, and she will answer your call. Make sure you prepare before you go meet the Zeswatsahe. It is a long journey to the Upper Plains.
Ready to ride? Nassim seems like a fighter. How come she hasn't joined us before? We have to prove our worth to them as warriors. This is what they ride fast, but they do not like to wait for others. The wind in their grasslands is so sharp it can slice through mountains. It is a fierce land, so the Zeswa must be even fiercer. It will be different, but we are ready for the challenge. You must go without your Ikran. She will not follow you into the grasslands. Why not? It is unknown sky to her. Too far from her own. You must trust the bond, new as it may be. She will join you once we have learned more of the land and its challenges. How will I travel then? You will learn. <laughs> and when you are ready, this is where ancestors can show you the way. But for now, fly to the waterfall cliffs. There is a cave system that runs all the way up to the plains. Hey, so like, I'm nearing a really big RDA base. It's in the northern part of the King Lord Forest. Avoid that place if you wish Whoa! to hear them. There are more RDA at that base than King Lord in the forest. And do not even try to get near it on Ikran. The anti-air turrets will shoot you down instantly. Okay, I will try to keep away from it for now. But what is this place anyway? I do not know what the RDA are doing there. Priya or Talon may fill you in on that part. But the RDA will crush you should you go there unprepared. It would be a waste after rescuing you from the cold sleep. That must be the cliff. There should be a cave. Oh! I have to go on my own now, but I'll see you soon. The entrance to the cave. Raise the signal kite.
Nassim sent me to speak with the Tahik of the Zeswa. Then we have found each other. You have been missed. <laughs> Mina! Decide him to tread the grass again. Let us ride the wind and celebrate by the fire. We will hear your tales like we used to. Sister, you must give the warrior time to adjust. Breathe our air, feel our earth beneath their feet. Meet the Zakru. Who is this Zakru? Our wards and our guardians. Our home and heart. The home of our people wanders, warrior. It is never in the same place. But we leave kites in its wake. Flying high. So you always know how to get home? <laughs> you already think like a Zeswa. Now we will teach you to ride like one. First, you must find a dire horse. Any will do. Our bond with them is short lived. Move slowly, be calm. Then make the bond and get home. Hey, you're going to be okay. That's it. Ride the wind, warrior! Follow the kite. Soon we will celebrate by the fire. The Zeswa Tahik taught me to ride a dire horse. No way! <laughs> Did you name them already? It's a little different. Bonding with them is only temporary. Oh, well, it's still pretty cool, though. How does it feel riding one? Strong, powerful, but they don't turn like an Ikran does. Guess they don't fly as well either. <laughs> no, but they make crossing these plains a lot faster. It's all so vast and open here. So different.
That's it. I found it. Your feet sound more tender than ours. Do not get so lost in your thoughts. You may not find your way back. Yes, fluid like the river. They complement each other even as they compete. Oh, to be that young again. To bend like a sapling. <laughs> Excellent. Your best brawl by far. I heard they fought a Thanaton. Not sure if I believe it. We are generous hosts to polite guests. Do they ever get hurt? <laughs> Our people have hot heads and warmer hearts. When the Zakru walk, we follow. And when they rest? We let the ground learn our feet as we dance, the air our voices as we laugh and sing. Do you hunt with that curious weapon? I wish I was as strong and fierce as your people. Then you need to drink more Zakru milk. <laughs> 
We boil it, curd it with thistles into fresh cheese, and leave it to cure with savory dry leaves. And with the way we brew Zanke, the fire that brightens our celebrations. The legend says Zakru are stones made into beasts. Ever since the first Zakru offered us shelter, we have had music, joy, and merry. I have a surprise for you. But we need a gourd of fresh Zakru milk. How could I should have one? There is something I must do across the stream. It is part of the surprise. Take your time to walk around and meet the Zeswa. Our fearless riders are famous even beyond the grasslands. And there is someone in the nursery eager to meet you. You must be still. Have the sky dance. people made a pet of you? <laughs> Also wisdom of the body. Your dire horse looks so powerful. Yo, you speak like the sky people. All creatures are like property to them. But she doesn't belong to anyone. I, I know. They are free. As free as we are. And each is unique, like you and me. This one enjoys the company of Zaku. She finds their calm soothing. Do you write? I've been practicing. If you want to learn our ways, you must master it. Dire horses are everything to my people. They help us carry our tents. We hunt with them. We fight with them and charge as one. Our bellowing war cries echoing in the plains. Shrinking the hearts of our enemies. Don't worry, Sarentu. Those are just stories. How it was in the times when such things were needed. Those times may return soon. If they do, we will be ready. She and I will. does as the grown-ups do. You have built your home around them. They must be deep sleepers. Mm -hmm. They don't just sleep, but feed. But one day they will wake up and leave, to look for fresh soil. But when they do, we will follow. You are travelers, like my people, like they used to be. I've only heard stories about the Sarentu. My mother sets when she taught one how to comb a Zakru's mane, but he tripped and fell into the milk vat. Um... But every time they visited, they would raise the celebration kites, and everyone would gather, dance fight, drink Zanke. Your clan was loved. And now, you are here. We will celebrate again. I heard they fought with Thanet. Not sure if I believe. Every breath is worth the Saren too, visitor. Gossip precedes you. I hope it's good gossip. Just that you are a warrior in the making. Alas, nothing juicy. I've met Ken. He asked me to find milk. Ah, oh, Kin. His jokes used to be the joy of the clan. But 
He has not been the same since Sosu left. Here, fresh milk, graciously shared with us by the Zakru, the foundation of our strength. Who is Sosu? Kin's Zanke drinking partner. Have you not heard? He became the burden carrier. He left the clan forever, carrying that dreadful weight on his back. That must have been very difficult to leave everyone you love behind. Tis a sad honor, but he took our burdens away, so we travel light. Thanks to Sosul, when the Zakru walk, we can follow. Life is more than just cheese. Way has many uses. What's his name? Ah. Pasu. It means berry. Like this. He likes them best. Pasu. It doesn't look very tasty. <laughs> they are not for eating. They make him feel beautiful. Here. Just for you. You are friends now. In Zakra, never forget a friend. Do you hunt with that curious weapon? Or is it just for decoration? Hear that? It means the sisters are back. Let us feast on cheese and zanka. We will toast on the return of Sarantu. But someone must raise the celebration kites. It is an honor your people used to enjoy. That will give everyone the signal. The Tinke Kamatire can brew zanka worthy of the name. Oh, and so humble. <laughs> 